Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to tell you why you should not buy the Honda Elevate SUV which is expected to be launched in India July 2023. The Elevate is Honda's first compact SUV for the India market and it has been designed and engineered locally but it is worth your money. Let's find out. First of all, the Elevate is not very original or innovative product. It is based on the same platform or the city sedan and it boasts the same 1.5 litre petrol engine with a 121 horsepower and 145 Nm of torque. The engine is with a 6 speed manual or CVT gearbox, there is no diesel or hybrid option available, which means you will have to compromise on fuel efficiency and environmental friendliness. The elevators looks very similar to the city with a sleek front grille, LED headlights, and tail lights, and a sloping roof line. The only difference is that it has higher ground clearance of 220 mm, which is still lower than some of its rivals like Hyundai Creta or the Kia Seltos. Secondly, the Honda Elevate is not very spacious or comfortable SUV, it has a wheelbase of 2600 mm which is shorter than the city 2610 mm this means that the rear seat legroom and headroom are not uh, very generous especially for taller passengers the boot space is also not very impressive at uh, 458 liters which is less than the creta 433 liters or the seldas 433 liters the quality of the materials and the fit and finish are also not very premium as the honda has tried to cut cost by using cheaper plastic and fabrics the future list is also not very exciting as the 11 only offers 7 inch Screen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, a sunroof, curious control, push button start, and automatic climate control. It does not have any fantastic features like wireless charging, a digital instrument cluster, a head up display, or ventilated seats. Thirdly, the Honda Elevate is not very safe or reliable SUV. It comes with Honda sensing suit for safety features, which includes a front camera with collision mitigation braking system, lane keeping assist system, adaptive curious control, road temperature mitigation system, and traffic signal recognition system. However, these features are not available on the top space variant which means you will have to pay a premium for them the lower variants only get say dual airbags abs with ebd rear parking sensor and isofix child seats anchors the honda elevate also does not have a good track record of reliability as it has been plagued by several issues like a faulty cvt transmission engine oil dilution rating noises and poor after sale service so these are some of the reasons why you should not buy the honda elevate suv in india it is not a very original spacious comfortable safe or reliable product it is also expected to be priced between 12 to 17 lakh ex showroom which makes it more expensive than some of its competitor like Creta or the Celtas. If you are looking for a better compact SUV in this segment, you have better options available in the market. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.